At the beginning of June, I packed everything I owned, put it in the truck, and we decided to move to Utah for a month. And the past few weeks in this house have been so amazing and so memorable, and truly a summer that I'll never forget. But now, with the month ending, it means it's time to relocate again. And I wanted to choose states that were super far away, so the next place we're at is gonna be a completely different vibe. But right before we actually do leave Utah, I wanted to do everything that I could think of doing here in Utah to feel like I really completed my experience. So here are a few days in my life, mountain biking, horseback riding, going on tubes, and just doing so much fun stuff. Enjoy the vlog. another vlog. I have a big explanation for this, okay? Give me a second. Ah, delish. You're probably wondering why I have a big ass, big gulp cup in my hand and with no ice. Let me explain. So basically, I ran out of my to-go cups that I bought on Amazon like forever ago. So I was out of cup and... Oh my. Excuse you. Uh-uh, my waffles. Better look next time. Our Airbnb doesn't have an ice machine in the fridge, so like you have to make the cubes, but we don't have space to make the cubes because of the girls' farmer's dog food. So anyway, I'm out of ice. And you're probably wondering like now, why don't you use your mason jar that you use all the time? Well, the thing is that it's dirty. I used it yesterday and I didn't wash it. Anyway, we're also out of food because we're moving out of Utah in three days, so we don't want to buy any more groceries. So we've been living off of frozen food. Mm. Welcome back to the vlog. Another day, another sleigh. Did you actually order food for me? Yeah. Did you order it for me or for yourself? And whatever you don't like, you're gonna give it to me. Yeah. Girls, man. Guys, this is literally like our second to last day in Utah. I know. I'm gonna cry. I don't wanna leave. I really Any don't. guesses on where we're going next? Let me know right now. Yes! Cup of ice. Ham and cheese croissant. I didn't even order. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. People are gonna think I bought beans and brews, but no. Sigh, catfish, Nat's Cafe, coming 2025. All righty, we got the goods, let's go. Nat wants to take her sweet ass time, so I'm gonna get my little cameo in her YouTube vlog. And my vlog back. You wish. We are in Park City. Like, literally, we are here every other day. Actually, we've been here for the past, like, four days. In a row. <laughs> in a row. Ta-da! Okay, if we wait 35-ish minutes, we get a 25% discount, and I'm always down for discounts, so we're about to go wait for sure. Sheesh, look at that range. I was walking by it like, I wish I had that car. Oh, wait. Wow. Literally, what a dream. I love my car. We have the game plan right now. What are we gonna do? Should we drive away? It is 1249, and we technically can't go get the bike till 1215, and we can't even go on the lift till 1230. My brain is not breathing. 1.30. 1.30. Should we just chill here for an hour? I think we should get some refreshers. Coffee is good and all, but it's getting a little too hot for coffee. Time for a refresher, huh? Should we go check out a coffee shop? I'm not the driver. Honestly, like, I refuse to leave Utah without doing the mountain biking because this state is such a, like, outdoorsy place, and I've been wanting to do the mountain biking. We have to, Jake. I need to, like, check that off of my bucket list. And today will be the day, hopefully. Hopefully. Alrighty. Let's go check out a coffee shop, and we should also probably buy some kneecaps, knee pads. You don't do that rent them there? No, I didn't see that. Okay. Let's go buy some kneecaps. Let's go do that. Just in case we fall, I don't want to scrape the living shit out of my knees. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. I think these are the ones we need. Oh yeah, Jiggy, these for the knees. I think I'll be fine. I have health insurance. Hell nah, dude. I'm not paying 90 bucks. We walked out. We're gonna go see if we can find cheaper ones before we can actually commit to those. Oh. I want to 
1.30. Damn it. They're closed. Bruh. Till 1.30, which is the time we're supposed to go pick up the bikes. It's just meant to be for us, not to be safe, you know? It, yeah, it's just meant to be for us to have scraped knees. Let's get coffee before we head out. If we head back right now, we'll make it in time for the half off or 25% off price of the lift over there. Right? Oh my gosh, can you guys oh. see the moose? Oh my wow. god! Turn around. Oh my gosh. We're not gonna be able to see it. He's off of the hill. Oh my gosh, he's right there. He's right there. He's coming up. Oh my gosh. I was just driving in Jake's on Moose, moose. I would have never seen him. I'm gonna do a U-turn here so you guys can see the moose a little bit better. We're gonna go nice and slow, right? All right. You got it, Jiggy. It. Wow, look at him. Oh my god. Wow, that guy better be careful. I'm so excited. This is our first time getting on these kinds of lifts. Only ever done the winter. Let's see how it goes. sure what lake that is down there but we're somewhere up here we're still not even done with the trail there's still like quite a bit to go my hands are like really sore from like you know riding on my brake pedal this is actually insane 10 out of 10 i think one of the hardest experiences i think this is harder than snowboarding nah actually that's a stretch remember when we first started snowboarding yeah somebody was really hard i don't know but this is pretty damn hard too all right we're going back on the trail Careful, 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 careful. You okay? You good? Thumbs up if you're good. good. Oh my gosh. Was that something? We are full of dirt. Look at my freaking legs. Yeah. We just returned all of our gear. We took off the knee pads and everything. And we just dropped it off. Let's go to the car. First impressions? Dangerous. Harder than I thought. I actually thought they were gonna be like dirt paved roads and Me like too. very smooth. They're the opposite. They're very rocky. And this is a beginner one that we went to. If we went to the other one now. This. Honestly, like I really can't decide what's harder, this or snowboarding. That was terrible. Okay, now that we are done discussing this, let's go horseback riding. We have some lessons. My instructor won't let me ride because I don't have full pants. So we have to stop really quick. I saw free people. It's like down the street from where we were. So let's see if they're open because if they are, I need to buy a pair of jeans. We're almost late for the classes. I sent Jake to get a lemonade while I went to go get this. Look at him, show me lemonade. Mmm. Thank you. Wow, that looks delicious. 
Okay, let's go. All right, we are one light before my horseback riding. I didn't even try them on before I bought them because, well, I just didn't have time. So I'm just gonna put them over what I already have on right now. These bitches were expensive too, so I really hope they fit. Hey, they fit. Perfect. We're ready for horseback riding. You did good. <laughs> Bruh, we are musty crusty. Dirt biking and then horseback riding? Sheesh. I don't even know how I'm gonna pull up to this new appointment for real. Alrighty. We have a super, super duper exciting appointment. No, we don't. Nobody has anything exciting. Jake's being a hater. <gasps> I have a super exciting appointment and I've been so excited waiting for it. I am going to finally get my lips touched up. The last time I got my lips filled was December of 2022. So it's gonna be almost two years that I filled my lips and lip filler is like really low maintenance. Like you don't have to upkeep with it a lot. The last time that I got my lips filled, I did 0.6 of a syringe. That's all that I needed. Like that was enough, but it's been almost two years. So it's time for a little touch up. The thing that nobody tells you about filler is that once you do it, you have to keep doing it because your lips look like saggy because like, your skin stretches out when you put filler. So before you get filler, think twice because it is a lifelong commitment, girl. Like it really is. Unless you don't care that your lips look stretched out, but I do, so. Okay, come get lip filler with me. I'm nervous because this actually hurts really, really bad. It really does. How are these my lips? The shape she gave me is insane. The fact that Jacob said, what do you think, Ben? I really like the shape, dude. Last She's time that like, you got them, they look insane. It's but because, no, they look good. last time that I got them, I got a full syringe. So I looked crazy, but because I only did half a syringe, which is half the size of a blueberry. That's the best way I could put it for you guys. She just kind of like outlined what was already there. When you're making a shape, that's what it's a little harder. But wow, I'm obsessed. My lips, girl, they are in pain, like in pain, pain. Jake went to go get me some boba. He dropped me off at home and he was like, go inside, I'm gonna go get a drink. He brought me back strawberry milk tea. The key to a woman's heart for real. They look good. They feel really, really big, but it's mainly just like, they're painful. I don't know, because when you get injected, okay, first, mm. When you get lip filler, it's basically like the filler and then there's lidocaine inside of the filler, which, you know, then goes into your lips and numbs it. But when that lidocaine wears off, which is about right now, I got my lips done around an hour and a half ago, it hurts. But you know what? After doing my big ass BBL, honestly, nothing hurts. This, fine, whatever. It's currently 9, 12 p.m. The sun is literally still out, but I have some work to do. So I'm just gonna work for the rest of the night and we have another long, long day tomorrow. So I'm really just trying to soak in the rest of this entire Utah experience. Good night. <sighs> I look like a puffer fish. I have to do today. Bruh! Oh, I need to get out of bed. Good morning. This is my OOTD. I love this shirt. This is my new favorite shirt, I think. So cutie. I'm bringing an extra pair of shoes just because today's activity, they might require me to wear closed-toed shoes and I'm wearing sandals. So I'm bringing some just so they don't tell me like, you can't ride, you know?
sure my lips don't let me eat. This is like a 9 out of 10 coffee. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> Hello! Honestly, really good coffee. I'm impressed. Me too, the food is good. The food was good too. It's called Google Coffee, it's up in Park City. Surprise, surprise, we're in Park City again, yay! <laughs> we're literally here every single day. It's like a 30 minute drive from our house, but like, it's so worth it. This coffee, I'm so glad. I was like, I cannot leave Utah without trying their coffee. Are you glad you tried it? Mm -hmm. We haven't left Utah without trying lakes, boats, mountain biking. Now we have one thing on the list. Yesterday when we came here, I went into Free People like running in there to grab a pair of jeans. And that store was so cute. So I want to go back to Free People today. That's literally what we're up here for. I want to go shop. The jeans that I bought yesterday were slay. Look at this. All of the obstacle courses, I think we're at the right place. Now we just need to make sure that it's open. But the parking lot is literally full. So my guess is it's open. Shoes. I'm just gonna put them on right now. I don't want to get any surprises. Like, if the tubes are open, I don't want to come back to the car. Done. Dude, look at these dudes. Oh, Jake is going first. Ah, I'm scared for him. So we're doing this one and that one right there. Those two. Good luck, buddy. Nobody told me I had a hike to get up this place. They said you gotta get your steps in, so I guess we do. And it's not an easy hike. It's pretty steep. There's literally people zip lining across up here. Wow. I've been hiking for about eight minutes or so, but it's all like incline. So the eight minutes was like 20. We're almost there though. Ready? Yes, sir. <laughs> Imagine it falls off and it's me. Yeah, it feels like I was gonna fall off. No, then I don't wanna do it. Oh wow. Go, your turn. Oh man. If Jake did it, naturally I have to do it because if not, how am I gonna look? Oh, I'm so scared. Okay, let's go. Damn, steep ass hike. I'm scared for my life. Oh, you guys got the short end of this. No. No way. We're uh, on lightning hold for 20 minutes. We can't do anything, unfortunately. Literally. I can't believe it. Just before it's my turn. I'm debating whether I should go back down the mountain or I should just wait up here. Because it's 20 minutes. But that hike was so hard that I, I think I'm just going to wait. Look at Jake. Mar He's just waiting down there. Honestly, maybe this was like a blessing in disguise and I should just go down. There hasn't been another lightning strike, so we should be going down soon. Oh wait, they're getting up. I think it's our time. A few moments later. Lightning hold until 323. I'm literally doing the walk of shame. Oh my gosh, it just started pouring. There is no way. That's thunder. Oh my god, we're about to get soaked. Oh no. What the hell? I can't believe this is happening. I'm, I'm getting soaked. Bruh. Free shower? Mother Nature said y'all need a shower. <laughs> we just got a voucher. Thank goodness. I was so scared like that. They were going to be like, nah, because there's like, the policy says because of weather, like they won't do refunds or whatever. But I guess they will do vouchers. But they literally soaked all of our clothes. So we need to get some new jeans or new something at least. New outfit. For real. It was like the coolest thing ever because it went from being sunny, thunder, and then bam. <laughs> and now it's done raining. I'm so confused. Are you down for some shopping? I am. I'm down for some shopping actually i waited one hour sitting down and then literally you guys saw as we're about to get on the tube they say they're gonna wait more <laughs> i feel like that was life's way of saying like don't get on this net so it saved me from that and i know it was bad don't lie it wasn't bad but you had to hike all the way up and then hike all the way down I was pissed, yeah. I feel so bad for you. Oh my goodness. Anyway, the sun is literally out and it's good weather again. Let's go shopping. I really want to go to free people. Ah, I'm so excited. Alrighty, driver, take me to free people. Let's go. <laughs> Ta-da. We're back. I really like these. Jake says that they're his mom's vibe. It's like the 90s style. I love it. I think I love the pattern with the bottom shirts. Let me see if they have my size. I'm going to try them on because you can only really tell if you like something until you try it on. 
Let's try it on. I just want to see how it's going to look on. The mannequin is one thing and then I'm a whole other thing. Wow. I love it. It looks so good. Very summer vibes. I got my bag. I love free people. That's such a cool store. This is actually the coolest free people I've been into. This was so nice. Everything in there was just such a vibe and they got my ass. Okay, we're going to stop by for a coffee. Second one of the day. I know I said I was gonna get coffee, but I decided that I need to take a chill pill on the caffeine for real. <laughs> mm. So instead I did a strawberry banana, orange juice, and chia seeds smoothie. Cooper Scooper Nat, back at it. The stuff they don't tell you about owning dogs. <laughs> I didn't realize how much of a hassle it is to actually have a backyard, but now that I have it, it makes sense. Because normally I have to pick up poop right after they poop it, but because of the backyard, Jake just like lets them out and we never pick it up, but it's gotten, it's about three days of poop. We gotta clean it up. See, that is Jake's version of picking up the poop. He picks it up and then he throws it. It stinks. Hey, back up. I've had enough of the smell of poop to last me a decade, literally. This is our podcast setup. Very uh, DIY. This is an Amazon box that we use to like rise the mics. It's literally super DIY, but this is all we can do right now because of the lighting in here. And we are a travel podcast on a budget. so much for watching today's vlog and in the next vlog we're gonna be packing up this entire airbnb and heading on our 23 hour road trip across the country bye